Hey guys, welcome back to ATZ TV. Thank you for stopping by for another Indian football video. And today we are going to talk about Mohammedan. Will they be the new club in ISL next season? And today we have a special guest, Jeet, who has come in today's podcast. This is our first podcast of our channel. And if you want to be a part member of this podcast in the future, you can contact me on Twitter or Instagram. Link in the description below. So, Jeet, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Aurelia, for having me here. It's a great pleasure to have be here. Yeah. So, uh, let us start our podcast. We'll discuss about Muhammadan. Okay. So, my first question to you, of course, about Muhammadan is: How do you feel Muhammadan's current performance? Okay, they recently won the Kolkata Premier Division after forty years, of course, and they also reached the finals of the Durand Cup. What do you feel about it? Well, it's a great feeling. Actually, me living beside the club in this uh, in this city of Kolkata, like uh, there was a huge triumph. By the triumph, I can see only how big the success was. Actually, before the Calcutta Football League, the Mohammedan missed many chances. Like you see, they reached the finals of the Durand Cup. Just for inches, they missed out the trophy. Like they also like got kicked out of the IFA Shield. So after all these humiliating losses, they finally ma- managed to beat something. And it is also the first time that there are three Kolkata giants: like Mohammedan, Mohun Bagan, and East Bengal. So it's the first time like not Mohun Bagan, not East Bengal, but Mohammedan has won the. Trophy, so it's actually a very great feeling. Yes, exceptionally well performance. Uh, even though they missed uh, the Duan Cup, they were playing against a top Goan team. Of course, Goa has fielded their strongest squad. Yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah, so even come losing to that, it was a very good performance according to me. Just a one nil loss it was. Yes. Okay, so they have performed well. Now another question is. If let now, as we know, uh, Sri Cement doesn't want to invest in SC East Bengal next season. So, if Muhammadan have to replace SC East Bengal, let's say Muhammadan is going to be the replacement of SC East Bengal, do you feel that they will be able to perform better than East Bengal? Like as you know already, with this season and the previous season of SC East Bengal, they have not put a good name for themselves in ISL. So, do you feel that you know Muhammadan can do a better performance? Well, judging on the performances for the last two years, Mohammedan have been really good. So after it seems Bengal's performance, like the last two seasons, still now they're struggling. Still no win for them. So Mohammedan uh, with their new coach, like they are keep on fighting till the last minute. I've seen with the new coach Andre Cherish Cherinshov, they will really succeed. I will tell. Even if not the best, then even then also they will play better than East Bengal. And I will. Uh, Guarantee you, like the they will give their best performance. Yes, we want a, a good because I feel SC East Bengal actually this season they would have performed well if it wasn't for their sponsor issues, and the money issues of course the finance part. But uh, yes, let's hope that Mohammedan have a better performance the next ISL if they do come in. Yeah, yes, yes, they will have, and especially East Bengal doesn't have an organization like the the deal was made with Sri Cement at the last minute. Like let's say just seven days before the Indian Super League started, that time the news was coming like the disputes have been over. But judging by Mohammedan Sporting, like they will. Actually, they have a better organization and a team. Like they and the players have, they have quality players. Mainly, I will say like the best in the I League also. That's exceptionally good. So the next thing is, uh, do you think the current Mohammedan players, the Indian players that I want to focus about, have the quality for ISL? Yes. And also, I will say like many are ready for ISL also. Like we have a few players I'm turning out. One is Faisal Ali. He has been exceptional in the Durand Cup. Another players are Brandon Vanlal Rimdika. He has played in his East Bengal. Then is Milan Singh, another player of East Bengal. Then another player who has impressed in Mohun Bagan was Sheikh Fayad. So all and Arijit Singh also. So these players are actually getting a chance. Even just when they played against FC Goa. They had a good uh, like experience about what it's like playing with a top team, with their top squad, and and ultimately, so now I will say like they are more prepared than ever. They are ready because we all know that uh, in ISL, of course, uh, seven players have to be Indian. Okay, so if in you need quality Indian players also to you know. So uh, now let's uh, go to the next thing. 
do you feel that mohammadan will be able to scout scout and sign good indian and foreign players of course when you join isl you need more better players okay so do you believe that uh, mohammadan has a good scouting system yes i also believe that like because of the current scouting team they are doing a very good job in the current the tournaments like see the first of all the foreign players they have signed nikola stoyanovic he is like a tony cruz in the midfield then the defender shahir shahin we call him shahin shahin kolkata that's uh, like saying marcus joseph he was like the top scorer from gokulam kerala and who they they won the ivy class this and also andiel rudovich the new signing from montenegro and also the indian players they were they also have a very good they have also have very good talent like local players like one player i'll tell you hira mondol he was at mohammedan sporting last season but this season he's he's playing in east bengal and you see he's actually getting many good awards and playing very well so i will tell like he the coaching and performance of mohammedan sporting is improving also that's nice to hear uh so do you believe that mohammadan have the financial backup to play uh to play in isl and you know to pay the expenditures which is basically player salaries and you know all the other things the food the you know hotels the staying all the facilities are huge expenditure comes that is why the sponsorship is required do you believe that mohammadan by themselves at the moment are capable of you know thing of course they need sponsors but yes. do you think to get the sponsors they will be able to you know be able to pay and not like have financial issues i will i will say like you know they will have they have better financial options also like currently their current sponsor for the season is bunker hill and also like the everything i have never heard they have any financial situation but all the players i have seen as of the list are very well paid and i don't think so like ki they don't have any problem if they want any financial problem if they want to go into the isl and they will be able to manage it even if like they need to pay something more like east bengal they they took a contractor and now they are paying in the isl because uh, we saw we, we can just take east bengal as the biggest example of you know financial mismanagement uh, so it's good when your club has already a good sponsor and are able to you know when you understand that the player salary also increase when you play in isl and then there's a lot of other things where the, they have to start paying more money so when the, if the club financial management is very good there's a higher chance of success Yes, like currently also they have a big higher chance of success in the I League also. I believe that they can do better in the I League. Yeah, uh, talking about I League, uh, last season they did finish six in the compromised I League. I would say the compromised I League season because yes. there were less matches played, and uh, you know it was not actually it's not like a good a proper football league. Hopefully, it doesn't happen this season again. So they came sixth, but I think after their good Durban Cup performance and winning the Calcutta Premier League division, I think they have a chance. They have a good chance to come. Yes, right. Like last season in the I League, they were under Jo Jose Carlos Hevia, and I don't know. They were like in the first matches, they were beginning to play very well. They were winning matches, but I don't know why in the later stages they just kept on losing and losing. And mind, if we see like last season, what the format was also different. There was a winners bracket and a losers bracket. They somehow managed to go into the winners bracket, like finish in fifth, but still no improvement. After that, the uh, suddenly the coach was sacked and. the interim coach shankarlal chakraborty took over but that then also like winning losing winning losing they for managed fifth after that season they they uh, they signed this uh, russian coach andrey chernishov after he actually i can say is a very good coach like he, the a coach which mohammedan has had in many years a good coach and he is also also a leader so i think this is the best option for mohammedan right now and they can do something under him like under him they are signing so good players also so good foreign players also so i think he is the one that's good is you know you need a stable coach also so this is not actually to hit on any fan base or anything because uh, and this is especially a question for uh, for the people who don't live in kolkata so they know how could you compare mohammedan fan base with uh, east bengal and uh, sc east bengal and i mean sorry sc east bengal and of course mohun bagan and i mean mohun bagan not atk mohun bagan 
Okay, so whenever people hear about Calcutta, they the three giants come up as Mohan Bagan, East Bengal, and Mohammedan Sporting. There's a saying in Bengali which is called Bangla Bangali football, Mohan Bagan is Bengal. So it means like it the main the main players of the of India, the main football teams of India are Mohan Bagan and East Bengal. But after that, now Mohammedan is also emerging as a very big team. Like they are they have expanded so much. and my also one fact is those who are not from calcutta if you ever come to calcutta you will see in maidan like the big area is in maidan mohan bagan east bengal and mohammedan grounds they are just next to each other like it like next door and next door is like i have also been to many of their matches so it's like a, a different feeling like today we are coming for this match tomorrow we are coming for that match like and mohammedan sporting like they love their supporters man like last season also last season like this season in the cfl they allowed fans to go for free in the durand cup and cfl like which club does that like then also there is a love for mohammedan also and according to the fan base if we say like uh, mohammedan represent the muslim communities in india like in calcutta like one one is from east bengal one is this side in india but the muslims are are very much connected with mohammedan and their fan base is very huge if you ever go to a mohammedan sporting club just a local match not even a normal match just a local friendly match they have a huge fan base and people are actually crowding in to see the matches i can't tell more because then you have to come and see for yourself that Yes, hopefully one day I do get a chance, you know, to come to Kolkata and see all these matches. Let's see how that pans out. So uh, hopefully I have covered the most important parts about uh, Mohammedan. And uh, thank you, Jeet, for being a very good uh, member in this uh, podcast. Uh, in, you have quite a great knowledge. Hopefully we can see you in more podcasts in the future. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Everyone. And one more thing for all the fans. I, I I would request every football fan who is non Bengali who is outside West Bengal to just come and just once watch the Kolkata derby they'll know what is actually football like the real taste of football yeah i i have only got the opportunity to, to see kolkata derby through the television of course okay but go to the- So your ears are buzzing. This side is Bengal. Yeah. This side Mohan Bagan. Yeah, it it is a it's a big deal. That it's that called Bengal. It's in Bengal. It's called Boro Match, like big game. Uh, it, it, no, it's by far according to me, it's the biggest derby, and I think entire uh, Asia. Asia. Yeah, yeah. It's, a huge, it's a huge thing. So maybe one day in the future I'll get to see. So with this, uh, we are ending the podcast. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, if you all want to be a member of the podcast in the future, in my future podcast, if you want to join and tell your knowledge about any club, uh, contact me through Instagram or Twitter. Link in the description bar below. Thank you once again for watching this video. Do like, share, subscribe, and see you all in more future podcasts in it uh, maybe soon. So goodbye, guys. Take care and stay safe.